Hi right, guys, welcome back to the video. Today I'm just gonna be doing a regular like day in the life situation. And I think that uh, I'm just gonna be going through like a normal like Saturday in my life. Uh, today, I think I have like a couple special things that I'm going to be doing. Uh, I'm about to go to a brunch with my family. It's like 9.20 right now. I'll show you guys some of that food. And then when I get back, I have some schoolwork that I got to catch up on. And then uh, later in the day, I, I have like two training sessions that I want to do. I have like a gym session later, like maybe tonight. And then I have a training session around like three-ish. So let's get into it. Let's get started. <laughs> little bit longer for uh, everybody to get ready for brunch I'm going to be running in my journal here uh, this is more like a day-to-day -day, like schedule that I try to build for myself because I think that um, really helps me prioritize my time and uh, I think right now that's probably one of the most important things that I could be doing uh, to prepare myself for the future is prioritizing my time and it's been great at that so yeah I'll show you a little bit of what I got going on but uh, basically if I flip this around basically up uh, 18th that's today as you can see we got YouTube filming on there we got the gym uh, referee prep I gotta uh, prepare myself better for that and then I have a small training session uh, some dual enrollment work and hang out with friends and family but uh, yeah this has been February I like to keep it like uh, pretty like strict because uh, I feel like there's more I could be getting done if I prioritize my time this helps so much but yeah uh, I'm gonna get this done and then I'll see you guys at brunch, so let's go. Those things look crazy. Fried green tomatoes. Let's go. Just finished up with breakfast and I got like the most mundane thing on the menu, just like eggs and uh, like potatoes or something. But a little change of plans. We're going to Costco now and we're getting some stuff. So yeah, let's go. They got the, the baby Yoda blanket. That's pretty fire. Favorite thing to do when I'm at the rice is give it a little snack, you know? That's how you know it's good. Bro way too big way way too big no one's gonna buy that shrimp no one wants that much shrimp in their mouth no one wants that much meat in their mouth either. it's just unrealistic all right i just come back from got back from costco and now i'm going to get ready for training so let's hop into it ignore my cat but let's go let's change Let's go. All right, so I've pushed back the training session to like 3 p.m. instead. So now I'm just gonna be doing some like dual enrollment work for a little bit in the meantime. So I'll record a little bit and then we'll get in the car and then we'll be there at uh, three-ish. So let's go. Hopefully this is in frame, but uh, before I head out, I just wanted to talk about um, college soccer and why I'm no longer going to be pursuing it. And um, <clears throat> it's kind of a question that I think a lot of athletes nowadays need to be asking themselves, especially if, uh, you know, you grew up not like playing at the highest level or division 
it's uh, really hard for college players to even get into the starting 11 for their team. So uh, a big part of why I didn't pursue or I'm no longer pursuing college soccer is just because the amount of work that I would need to put in in order just to maintain what the team is at and also just for me personally to be at the level of the team is is just too much of a sacrifice and um, I would be missing out on like a ton of other things that life has to offer I wouldn't be able to do basically anything else in college and that's just all I would be able to focus on and uh, I think that's a big reason why I'm no longer pursuing it I, I just woke up one day and I'm just like this sacrifice is no longer worth it for me so I think that's a really good question that a lot of athletes nowadays need to ask themselves, especially in the light of today. Like a lot of people say they want to be professional players and say they want to be, uh, you know, college soccer players and play on the first team, but they don't really realize what that means. And I think that's something that today's athletes need to ask themselves more, of, especially in soccer, is because since there's so many different factors that go into uh, playing at that level I think that people need to consider like everything about it and see if it's really something that they want to pursue so my advice would be to uh, consider the possibilities what sacrifices are you willing to make to play at the next level and that's kind of all what it boils down to and um, if you don't want to sacrifice hey I mean that's like nothing it's it's it really doesn't mean anything like uh people make a big deal about it like oh you're you're like not good enough it don't listen to that bro just keep focusing on what you want to do and if if it, that's not what you want to do then that's not what you want to do and no one can tell you otherwise so that's just what i think about college soccer and a lot of people have been uh asking me why i'm no longer doing it and that's honestly the truth so I guess that's what it is. All right, but uh, still going to train today, though, for the high school team. So, uh, or not for the high school, but train on my own. But since I still enjoy it, so let's go ahead and go. Boom. We're here. And I think this is probably like the most scenic pitch in Nashville. I don't know, you can kind of see like the background, but like once you actually get on the pitch, it's just so beautiful, man. Like it's, it really is like really, really nice. All right, but uh, looks like there's a game going on right now. But after the game's finished, let's get this training session in. Let's go. Dude, it is so beautiful, man. Boy, there's the sun, but that's the view. It is so scenic, bro so nice once it gets in focus bro it's so nice all right
just finished up the uh, training session and unfortunately uh, I couldn't film all of it because my phone actually just died so that kind of sucks but uh, I got in uh, most of our passing patterns that's what um, I got in the video I just want to show you as well this is why I love this pitch so much is uh, the view yeah, I can't really get like a good view of it right now since my phone is charging but uh, actually I'll probably put like a clip in a second of me putting it in there so just watch it's so cool the skyline but uh yeah it's one of the most scenic pitches in Nashville when I'm done though I'm just gonna head home and then uh probably eat dinner and then uh I'm going to go to the gym with my some of my friends uh from school so let's go I just finished eating. I just had fried rice for dinner. Uh, pretty simple. I was planning on going to the gym, but uh, after coming home, I was just like really tired. So I don't think I'm gonna go anymore, but I'm just gonna chill. Me and my cat, I don't know why he's bugging right now, but me and my cat, yeah. We're just gonna chill and probably watch some TV until the end of the day. But anyway, I hope you um, like the video and um make sure to like and subscribe and yeah that's the day in the life episode one let's go i've had it with these gosh dang chinese weather balloons bro if you want my firearms come spank me for it china <laughs>